this video I'm going to show you how to use the new tool called ID Insight. Uh, this tool is uh, uh, a new tool uh, introduced on RAD Studio 2010 and uh, the next release of Delphi for PHP also features uh, this new tool. You can uh, access uh, this tool using the search menu menu because it, it's a basically it's a search tool here it is you can also press control uh, dot you see and finally you can also access it using F6 which is my favorite uh, choice uh, this window uh, you can resize it to any size you want and allows you to uh, access uh, a lot of uh, commands very easily uh, because uh, all those commands are grouped in categories for example these are all the actions you have uh, available on the ID these are the desktop speed settings the same you can find here on the drop down this is the items you can find on the repository to create new new ones this is a list of uh, open files at this moment there is only one module open on the ID this category lists all the options and all the controls you can find on the uh, options uh, dialog on every uh, category this is a list of uh, the recent files you have uh, open with the ID and this is a list of uh, recent projects the nice thing is that uh, you can search on this list at the same time you type the list is uh, filtered by uh, the string you type and the one is highlighted you just press enter and then for example in this case goes to uh, the options dialog the uh, color for the uh, code editor so this is a nice way to find uh, many options on, on the ID. Um, also on this dialog you can uh, select which categories you want to to search and, and to show but usually you just uh, keep all, all of them visible so there is no way to uh, there is no need to, to use this uh, feature. Uh, for example, uh, now we are going to create, for example, a, a new new unit. And here, now we have the unit we have just opened. If we double click, we go to it or to the welcome page. Usually the, the the thing is to press the F6 uh, key and type what you want to to do and the item you want to search and you are done. Uh, so this uh, tool and um, it's updated uh, depending on the leaf information you you have on the on, on the ID. Now we are going to create a new VCL for PHP application. And also because when you are on the designer, if you show the ID inside, you have uh, two new categories. One is uh, called component palette and the other is components. The first one lists all the uh, components you have installed on the tool palette, you see. and if you uh, used uh, one of these options, for example uh, the button, if you press enter the component is created. So it's a very nice way to create components because it, it's very handy. Press F6 and you are done. Also if you have a component selected uh, and that component is able to hold another components inside uh, just when you insert a component 
this component is inserted inside the selected one so as you can see it's very it's very nice to use and also the other category shows all the components you can find on the active uh, form in this case these are the components and the goal is uh, that you can select any of them very easily just by typing the name this is very handy when you have a lot of controls in a form press F6 and then type the name of the component or even the form so you have it selected uh, well as you can see this is a very nice uh, utility and it's uh, very handy and I hope you like it bye